Hello beauties and welcome to the final video in this year's Valentine's Day series. We are going to be slaying with this beautiful pink look. Hey guys, so you've already seen me do my brows and prime my lids all week. So we're just going to go right over that. And we're using the Modern Renaissance today because, um, excuse me, but this palette literally is Valentine's Day in a palette. So we're taking Love Letter in the crease and I'm just kind of tapping the color on and then blending it out. And this is gonna act as our transition shade. Now I am going to cut the crease using a white concealer. You don't have to use a white, just use a nice brightening concealer. And as you can see, I kind of did a slumpy job here. So you should probably go a little bit slower than I did. But if you do mess up, you can take a flat shader brush and kind of go around the edges, kind of correct it that way. Or you can take a pencil brush and go back into that crease color like you see me doing here. And this color is not in the Modern Renaissance palette, but it is an Anastasia shadow called Pink Champagne. And we are applying that on the inner third of the lid. It is the most beautiful color. Next, I'm going on a flat brush and I am mixing Venetian Red with Love Letter and applying that to the outer part of my lid. I'm going into another single shadow by ColourPop called Pinky Promise and I'm just putting that in between the two colors that are already on the lid and I'm using my finger to blend that out so that there's a seamless transition. Now I'm going into the ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in the shade Darling and I'm using that to basically be my liner for today. You don't need to do a wing because it honestly won't show up, but you know, my irritating ass did it anyways, so. Girl, it was a struggle and a half dot com slash gov dot org slash dot net for me to get these lashes on, but they're on. And now I'm priming the face using Fenty Beauty Primer in this Biatch. And I am using the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation Stick. This foundation is really, really beautiful. However, it's like a centimeter of product in this freaking thing. And I think that's unacceptable. I don't care how cheap and good it is. I actually filmed a first impression for this, but it just didn't work out. But I was gobsmacked when I saw how little product was in it. I am going into the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealers in Hazelnut and Tan. I basically lay down Hazelnut first and then Tan on top. Hazelnut is more my skin tone, like it's not a very brightening. And then Tan is more brightening. And again, me with that brush, not a sponge. I don't know. I've just been feeling it. It's been looking flawless. I don't know. I don't know what's happening but make sure you blend it out where the foundation and concealer meet really well because again, we don't wanna look crazy. And what am I doing now? Okay, I'm contouring. <laughs> I'm using a Makeup Revolution concealer in the shade C18, which is the darkest one. And I am just sculpting the face because honey, we are going to be so snatched today. He's gonna wanna propose, okay? He's going to want to propose. So now I'm using a smaller brush to blend out my nose and still using that foundation brush to make sure everything's blended. Now I'm going into the Kilowatt Highlighter Duo. Which one is this? Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule to highlight my face. And again, just like my other video, I'm doing pink on the side and pearlescent on the front. And I'm setting my concealer now as you can see so you may have noticed in the series I've only been like setting my concealer not my whole face because I want my skin to look as dewy and radiant as possible the same liquid lipstick that we use as the liner we are going to now put on the lower lash line and use it as our eyeshadow now really because we love being multi-purposeful we're gonna also use it on our lips so I'm mainly focusing on like the outline of the lips 
doesn't have to be fully in the inner part because now we're using this pink liquid lipstick and basically just use a light pale pink i'm not telling you which one this is because this brand is trash their lipsticks are trash their service is trash and the smell of it is so nauseating that i don't even know if it should really be on my lips but anyways um i'm applying zane blush from the Juvia's place palette and girlies this is the finished look honey if you're single on valentine's day go wear this look out and you will be chose you will be chose okay but i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please give me a thumbs up show some love in the comments and subscribe so you don't miss out on my future content girlies love y'all and thank you so much for watching i will see y'all in the next video bye